G'day guys, Adam Mears from Cod Culture speaking. I'm here to talk to you today about Murray Cod Flies, um, why I select them, and just a few brands to help get you started uh, with your fly fishing for Murray Cod. The first one I'm going to show you today um, is a fly made by Honky Hooks. Um, the guy that makes them is Ben Honky, uh, he does have a page on Facebook. Um, these are a, a, a tandem hook rig fly. Uh, they're a big fly made with good quality components. Um, they're owner hooks uh, with clear cure goo eyes and head. Uh, it's a resin head on it uh, with a big weed guard at the front to stop you getting fouled up in the weed. Um, I've been using these quite a lot um, and probably my favourite fly uh, of last season. I only recently took up Murray Cod fly fishing. Um, but it, it's a tandem hook rig, so you've got your uprighting hook here at the front section uh, with a stinger at the back, much like a, a spinnerbait hook. Um, we've had a very good hook up rate with these, um, and they haven't let me down, they've been very, very sturdy. So, uh, honky hooks on Facebook, so you get on there and have a look and um, let, me know how, let me know what you think. Um, another colour he does in the range is this, uh, is this olive colour. Um, your same tandem hooks. Um, a little secret we've been running um, last season is, is actually being able to throw them on some spin tackle and some bait cast tackle as well, um, with very good success because uh, they're very natural in the water. Um, so if you can sort of throw it in there a few times, create a bit of a splash. Um, the cod aren't sensing any unnatural movement, um, and they really come out and hit them like they were natural prey. So um, I expect big things from these this season. Uh, so get on there and have a bit of a go. That's his brand, Honky Hooks. Um, they come packaged, uh, good prices on them. Um, I've known Ben for a lot of years, he makes some great flies. He's a good fly fisherman in his own respect. So if you have any questions uh, further on about fly fishing, maybe something that uh, I haven't been able to cover with you today, um, get onto his website, have a look. Uh, it's a great bloke and good to deal with. Um, this is a smaller model of his, it's a little deceiver. Um, it's still, you know, about the palm of your hand sort of size. Um, and some of your smaller creeks and rivers, um, when the fish are a little bit more shut down, sometimes these smaller flies are, uh, are just enough of a meal for them to come out and have a go. So, uh, once you again, you've got the good weed guard on there, you don't get fouled up in the weed. Um, you can sink them right down in front of it, uh, in, into, into rocks, into weed beds, things like that. Um, and not get snagged up as readily as you would with, say, a spinnerbait or a hard body. Another brand of fly that we like to use um, is the Chaos Cod Flyer series. Um, Ross Vert uh, is a very knowledgeable man in the world of fly fishing. Uh, has some great fish under his belt. Uh, he also makes these flies that he does sell uh, commercially into the public. Um, this particular model is the Cod Zonic. Um, it is my favourite fly in the range. It's a very simple fly, um, but very effective. They look fantastic. Um, they've held up some, to some really good fish and some really brutal punishment in, a, in and amongst the sticks. So um, we look forward to giving them a, a really good workout this season. Um, he's, he's, he's a top bloke. Um, so get on there and check him out. Chaos Cod Flies won't let you down. Uh, he does a few other colours in the range. This is, a, is, an, is an olive colour. Uh, it's very natural, very much like a baby cod or something like that. Um, I think they'll do very well. They'll get a lot of territorial strikes out of this fly. Um, like I said, I can't wait to get out there this season and really give them a, a good crack. Um, for some of you surface fishing junkies out there, uh, this is another fly that, that Verdi does uh, in his range. It's got a big foam head on it, big cut face popper, if you can see that down there. Um, I particularly like this colour, red and white. Um, he's also doing some up for me that are uh, black and purple, which is going to be unreal for that night time fishing. Uh, I think they're going to be off the, off the charts. So uh, They run a big 5.0 uh, hook through them. Um, he's running owner hooks on these as well. Uh, it does only have the single hook in it at the moment, uh, but I'm going to run a tandem hook off the back. Uh, I'm going to put a stinger hook on it. Um, with a little plastic bead on it to keep that in tight, much like a uh, sting hook on a, on a spinnerbait. Uh, try and improve that hookup rate, um, as surface hookups are, uh, are hard enough to achieve anyway with a standard lure, let alone having the single hook. So uh, I think that stinger hook is going to give a bit more protection uh, 
and just give us a, a better overall result uh, when fishing these at night time uh, or early morning. Another fly in the chaos range um, is the fish skull or the or the cod skull heads. Um, these are a weighted um, weighted fish head at the front, uh, just for fishing a little bit deeper in the water column. Uh, once again, great materials. There's plenty of flash in the back here as well. Uh, it'll it'll catch those last bits of light first thing in the morning and late in the afternoon. Um, give off that good uh, bait fish profile. Um, they're a fantastic fly. You do have to fish them a little faster because uh, they are a sinking fly. Um, where some of the other flies, uh, like his um, codzonix, um, will sink much slower and you can really methodically put them in front of the cod's face. These are fished a little faster uh, and you will get those reaction strikes. Uh, but normally those reaction strikes are very, very aggressive, um, very territorial nature of the cod uh, and you get a good, good hook up in the corner of the jaw. Uh, he does do another fly in the range. I, I haven't been able to test this one yet. Uh, this one out yet. And um, this is the cod Dobson. Um, the Dobson's a very traditional fly. Um, normally tied much smaller, um, but Verdi's put his own spin on it um, with a good fish eye uh, at the front, so that the cod has something to sort of strike at. Um, the materials feel great. Um, from what I'm told, they swim really well, so I've decided to uh, to grab a couple myself. I uh, can't wait to put these to the test this season. Um, hopefully get my first metre plus fish on the fly. Um, but I'll let you know how I go. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the page. So um, check them out guys. Chaos Cod Flies uh, and Honky Hooks on Facebook. I'll see you out on the water.